Hello everyone, this episode I'll be showing you how to use Keyboard Maestro as a window manager. If you look over here, you'll see the learning objectives for this episode. We have four macros, top half, center, custom, and conditional. Along the way, we'll learn how to send our windows to our secondary monitor and how to get the bounds of our windows. By the end, our macros might look a little something like this with macros for each position we like. All right, let's get started. Command N to make a new macro, title it whatever you like. I'll be calling it top half. Click in the no action box. Make sure all actions is selected. Type in window, double click on manipulate window. Now manipulate a window is a pretty simple action, mostly dealing with the first option and going to move and resize and select the position that you want. So give it a try. There we go. And then copy and paste that to make center, resize, center, give it a try. There we go. Now if you want to send it to our secondary monitor, what you want to do is change main into second and copy and paste that there. And it's pretty much the same with top half or any other position. Just change all the mains to second. All right, and let's go to custom. Copy and paste that. Custom. And this is where you want to get the bounds of your window. And you can do that with the pre installed app, Apple Script, Apple Script Editor, make a new document. And you here you want to type in tell application, whatever application you want to get the bounds of. For us, we're looking at Keyboard Maestro to get bounds of front window. Give that a run. Now, if you type these values straight in, you'll get you won't get the you won't get what you want because this value is actually the number of pixels your right side of the window is from the left side of the monitor, and that's not the width of your window. So you, what you want to do is subtract these two values to get the width, and these two values to get the height. And if you like, if you're doing a lot of custom windows, you can purchase the bounds action, and pretty much does it for you. And then go ahead and type it in. All right, you move it a little bit and then give it a try. There we go. Okay, so now let's move on to our next one, which is conditional. You can copy and paste that conditional. And we'll use um, Apple Script as our example. Make a new window. And this window has the number two in it. So this is where we go into our second option. And go windows with title containing so we want to filter anything with two and we want don't want to talk to our front application we want to talk to apple script so let's give it a try and there we go that is keyboard maestro as a window manager